So now let's create our main design for the Notepad application, simple Notepad application. Now, I have already opened my Qt Designer and I'm going to just create a main window. So let me just click on Create. And from here, we are going to just change the width to 700 and also uh, the height to, for example, 500. After that, you can see that in here we can give, for example, we can create our menu bar and also main items. So first I'm going to create a file menu. And in the file menu, I need to add some items. Now if you see, uh, if I preview this in here, uh, you can see that I have file. But there is no menu items in this file. So for adding menu items, we can just click and we can just click on type here. Uh, for example, I can just say new, so it's first menu item. Uh, after that, I want open. Now uh, this is another menu item. And uh, after open, I need to create another menu item, uh, or I can add a separator in here, or or I don't want to add a separator, but I want to add another one, and that is save. And now let's add a separator. So you can see we have add separator, and let me just add separator in here. Uh, now if I preview this file, you can see that I have this new open save and also I have a separator in here. Uh, now I need new open save. Uh, also I need to add print in here. And I need print preview. So print preview. Uh, also I'm going to just add export PDF. And I can just add a separator after this, like this, and at the end I can just create quit, or we can say exit. Now, if I uh, preview this, so you can see I have uh, these menu items in here. Uh, also, I can set shortcut for these menu items. For example, for the new, I can. So now, if you see, for every menu items we have. Uh, uh, some properties for example right now it's the main window now if i click on the new you can see the object in name and it's action new and you can see that we can make it checkable enabled uh, we can add icon that we will add and the important thing is that we want to add shortcut in here so for that uh, if i click on this you can see press shortcut uh, for example i can just press Control and after that n now you can see Control n so if i preview this now I have control N for this as a shortcut. Uh, let's do this for all of our menu items. So we have open and I can just say control O. Uh, we have save and it is control S. Uh, we have a print and this should be control P. And after print, we have print preview, and I can give control shift P. So you can see we have control shift P, and also we have export PDF that it should be control E, and also we have quit or exit. Uh, I can just, for example, give it control Q, for example. You can just give whatever you want, but we can just give it. Uh, we can control Q. So now let's preview this uh, from the here preview. And now you can see that we have our new open save print uh, print preview export PDF and also quit. So this was our first uh, uh, menu uh, menu bar and also menu items. Um, now for the another one, I'm going to just create another one and that should be edit. So I can just say edit. And for the edit also we need to add some uh, menu items. For example, the first one is ando. Uh, it's misspelling, I have a typo. It should be ando. Uh, we have uh, redo. And now I need to add a separator for this, like this. And now I can add cat, copy, paste, like this okay so now if I preview this we have file and we have edit now let's add our shortcuts for this so I can just click on edit and for the ando I can come down and I should see the shortcut in here so you can see that the 
uh, name is action uh, I have changed this but the object name is not changed let me just remove this it should be action and do and now we can add shortcut for this I can just say I can just say in here uh, control Z and also we have a redo and this should be uh, control uh, Y like this so control Y and also we have this cut and this should be a uh, control X and we have a copy and control uh, C and we have paste and this is control V so now if I preview this uh, in here you can see that we have our these uh, and do redo cat copy paste uh, let's add another uh, menu item uh, menu a menu bar and then here I can just add for the bold italic underline and uh, so for in, in here I can just create a format now let's add our menu items in here so we have bold and we can add shortcut for this for example control uh, B and we have uh, italic so italic and let's add the shortcut to this control I and we have uh, uh, underline so underline and we can add uh, for example control E uh, let's add a separator in here after that we have uh, left and it should be control L uh, right control R uh, left right center center and I can just uh, for example control I can just add that uh, for example we cannot add control C because we have for the copy uh, but for example we can say uh, control K for example for the center and we have uh, justify so justify and it should be control control J uh, okay now let's add another separator in here after that I can just create for example font I will open a font dialog and a color that I will open a color dialog so let's preview this so we have file we have edit so new open save print print preview export PDF and they did and redo cut copy paste and in the format bold italic underline left right center justify font and also color and let's create the last one and that's about and we can just say for example uh, about app like this okay and now if I preview this uh, you'll see that I have a complete menu bar and also menu items uh, also I need to add a text edit in here so I can just grab uh, or for right now I'm not going to add any text edit in here but I will add that uh, now this was our menu bar and menu items in the next part uh, we will learn that how we can add icons to the menu items